Polystyrene foam packaging. Valued by food retailers, the food service and packaging industries because it keeps food safe. It keeps hot foods hot and cold foods cold. It's clean and sanitary. It protects fragile goods and it costs less, benefiting consumers. And because PS Foam is so lightweight, it requires less energy to manufacture and transport. Recent life cycle assessment studies confirm polystyrene foam is an excellent choice for the environment. But what about the material after it has been used? While it is 100% recyclable, the single biggest challenge has been the cost of moving PS Foam to recycling plants. Why? Because PS Foam is more than 90% air. It takes up a lot of space and is therefore more expensive to ship. But what if we could compress PS Foam, squeezing out the air? Shipping costs would drop dramatically. Recycling PS Foam would then make economic sense. And that's exactly what has happened. Today, an exciting new technology is revolutionizing the recycling of polystyrene foam. Filled to capacity, a semi-truck trailer can carry only slightly more than half a ton of loose PS foam. But loaded with densified material, it can carry about 20 tons. It's like taking 35 trucks off the road for every one that remains. That's a huge savings, both for the environment and in shipping costs. So, how does it work? Post-consumer PS foam is collected through either curbside or depot programs. Currently, about 1 in 8 Canadians can recycle PS cushion packaging, and 1 in 4 can recycle PS food packaging products. And these numbers are growing. The material is then sent to a densifier, where it is compacted into blocks. From there, it goes to a recycler. The plastic blocks are remanufactured into commercially successful products, including decorative moldings and high-end picture frames. These recycled goods are sold across North America and enjoy strong demand. It is estimated that the global market for post-consumer PS foam is now some 120,000 tons a year. Densifier technology now makes PS foam recycling a reality. It is no longer cost prohibitive to ship, and the technology brings other benefits. It results in increased revenue for operators as the densified material commands higher prices and broader markets. It lowers operating costs and creates local green jobs. It reduces transportation emissions by up to 80% and diverts plastic resources from landfill. It's not surprising then that more and more operations are adopting the new densifier technology. Because now, recycling PS foam makes environmental and economic sense. For more information, contact the Canadian Plastics Industry Association. You can find us at www.plastics.ca. We're helping organizations across Canada put this new technology to work.